Coming up on Hands on iOS, I'm gonna show you that stickers are more than just images you send in your iMessage chats. You can actually peel and stick them. Hands on iOS is brought to you from LastPass Studios. You're focused on security, but are your employees? LastPass can ensure that they are by making access and authentication seamless. Visit lastpass.com slash twit to learn more. This is Twit. I have to say, I did have a bit of a chuckle the other day when I was recording iOS Today with Leo Laporte, and my app cap was the Mandalorian sticker pack. And as I was showing these stickers to the audience, uh, Leo realized that you can actually peel and stick stickers that come from a sticker app. Uh, I proceeded to tell some other people about that too, and they were shocked, so I thought, the world needs to know! Stickers are more than just little images that you send in your messages. You can actually take them, resize them, drop them wherever you want on any message, so you can take trolling to the next level. You can say, I, I love you, in a special kind of way. You can uh, censor someone's message if you don't like what they're saying. There's so much you can do with iOS stickers. It gets hilarious, so let's dig in. Uh, first of all, you got to know where you find these stickers. See, Apple released an app store specifically for iMessage, and this app store has apps for iMessage and sticker packs for iMessage. Now, stickers are a very simple thing to release in the app store. In fact, I have released a sticker pack in the past on the app store because of how simple it is. It's just a series of images, and you drop them in, and you gotta use some applications that are a little fancy, but after all of that, it takes care of the rest. So because of that, it kind of enabled a lot of people to make a whole lot of sticker packs, and there are a lot out there. So let's see what's available. We will launch the Messages app, that's right, they are in the Messages app, as opposed to going to the App Store. And down at the bottom, in the latest version of iOS, you will see on the left is the camera icon and then a little App Store icon. That's the button you wanna press. When you press that, you can see that it actually made my apps disappear because they were currently displayed. But if I tap that again, then it brings up the stripe for the different apps that you have installed. And here at the front is the blue icon for the iMessage App Store. So I'll tap that and up pops the App Store for iMessage. And oh, lo and behold, if it's not the Mandalorian stickers first and foremost. Uh, so let's go ahead and, and look through here. You can see that uh, these are some of the stickers that the App Store editors are really in, into this week. And those include Every Plant Ever, which is one of my favorite stickers, uh, sticker packs in the App Store, and even the Rise of Skywalker stickers, including an adorable Ray and a little BB-8. So we'll go back and we'll use some stickers that I already have because there are so many available. Let's go ahead and go over to the puns sticker pack, which is, I have to say, one of my favorite. Uh, so right now you can see some of the stickers, but do you see this little bar up at the top here? I can tap on this bar and swipe it up and it actually lets me see all of the stickers that are available. Now, normally what folks, you know, definitely I think know how to do uh, if you've used a sticker pack or an iMessage app is to tap on something like, <laughs> that's kind of a big deal. So I'll tap on that and you can see that it pops up as a little message within my iMessage chat and I can send it and that's fine. You know, that's cool. Uh, it's, it's not really a big deal though. It's kind of a, a little deal. And what makes it more fun is if someone sends you a message that you want to respond to that you think uh, is great, like this hilarious stop motion video of uh, Lego Yoda having a savings and loan uh, office, which I thought was pretty great. So I'll look through my sticker pack here and that's great. Now, instead of tapping to drop it into the iMessage and heading, hitting send, what I want to do is actually respond directly to that message. So I'm going to hold my finger down on the sticker and you can see it sort of peels off the screen there. So I'm gonna tap it again and then I can drag and I can drop it right onto that message. 
On the other person's device, it's going to show up right there on that message as well. Apple uses some pretty clever mapping technology to make sure that it shows up in the same place because there are some sticker packs like uh, Mr. Potato Head where you can join together to create your own Mr. Potato Head. Uh, but what if uh, you, you, know, you don't like just sort of that standard look of things or you think that the sticker is a little bit too tiny? Well, I'm gonna show again, this, this requires a little bit of dexterity. Depending, you might wanna use one hand, you might wanna use two. But if I tap and hold, once again, on the sticker, and I bring it up, I'm gonna take my thumb, and I'm, and I'm gonna put it on the screen, and then I'm going to drag. And you can see that it resizes the sticker. I can make it small, I can make it big, and then also, if I rotate my thumb, it rotates the sticker as well. So you might wanna use a two finger gesture to make this happen. Um, I'm gonna use my little one finger gesture here to really drive home the point that that's great. But I'll go ahead and show you too. Oh, I like you very much that I can use two fingers. So I've got my index finger and then my thumb of my other finger to really <laughs> let somebody know that I like them very much there. And we'll drop it on top of that. So one that I like to use when I'm trolling people is uh, the sensor sticker pack. It's called Bleepers. And this has several different features. So <laughs> along with some simple lines that if, let's say I got a message and I wanted to, I didn't like a word that someone said. Uh, so for example here, say I didn't like the word brain. Well, I didn't quite do a good job of, of uh, cropping that out. We'll do, there we go, brain. Uh, that can be dropped. But what's really funny, let's say you've got a friend who just keeps sending you selfies all the daggone time. They're asking you for your opinion on their latest selfie. How does my hair look? Should I wear this raccoon on my head? Am I, uh, is my smile great? Should I change the color of my lipstick to purple? All those kinds of questions. And you want to, uh, to troll them a little bit. Well, a fun feature within the Bleepers pack is to just take, and of course you want to match it to the skin tone, the proper skin tone. Uh, so this guy's pretty pasty, so I'm going to use a pretty white color here. And I can drop that right on his face, <laughs> and then it looks like uh, he has been censored. Um, so there are some fun sticker apps. There are some, you know, um, I wouldn't call them mean-spirited, but certainly, uh, what's the word, rascally sticker apps and there's everything in between. But going farther than just simply tapping and sending is what makes these stickers so much fun. If you want more tips and tricks, more reviews, more of your questions answered, you just head to twit.tv HOI. That site has links to all the places where you can subscribe. Do you have questions? Well, send them in to handsonios at twit.tv. Be sure to check it out, and we'll see you next time.